Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host Paul Hibbert, and welcome to something completely different in the words of Monty Python. Uh, this episode is about how you can stream your music from your PC, or your Apple Mac for that matter, out of your Alexa Echo Dots or your Echo Speaker, so that you don't have to have an Amazon Music or a Spotify account. So to be clear, this thing can basically do everything that Spotify and Amazon Music can do. It can do uh, pausing of playback, and it can resume playback, and it can call songs up by song title, or by album name, or by artist name. So this is a perfect like-for-like -like replacement for Amazon Music, but for your actual own home MP3 collection, or WAV files, or FLAC files, or basically any file you can think of. This is something I've been asked for a lot over the last year and a half, and so I thought, I'll finally talk about it. Uh, now this costs you $5 per year. That's a year, so don't go away, don't start hitting that dislike button just yet. If you don't want to pay $5 a year, then my god, you're even cheaper than I am, and I am super, super cheap. Um, I did want to do this for free, but there is literally no way of doing it. At least not without um, messing around an awful lot, and probably creating your own skill. Someone's done it for you, it costs you $5 a year, get over it and use this. So as usual, I have literally no idea what I'm doing. I usually don't. Uh, I'm just going to guess my way through because I think it's that easy. Uh, I'm going to go to mymediaalexa.com. I've already done that. And I'm going to press the download button over here. Genuinely haven't done this before. Just going to figure it out. Uh, download for Windows 64-bit sounds sensible because that's what I'm using. Uh, you can download it for whatever device you're using. Uh, it's a web-based portal, it would seem, so it doesn't look like it actually installs a great deal on your machine there. Welcome to my media for Alexa. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for congratulating me. I have read and understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Right, it wants me to sign in for Amazon, which makes sense, so I'm going to do that. It wants access to my profile. It wants to know my name and my email address. I'll allow it. Don't forget you must install the My Media skill. That kinda is obvious. Cool, that's fine. I can live with that. I don't want to see a video. I'm gonna guess. I'm a, I'm a real man. Real boys don't, uh, don't watch videos. Well, you probably do, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this one. Your next step is to select which media folders, folders to scan to allow them to be played by Alexa. Would you like to automatically download the sample media to get going? Uh, no. So this is super straightforward already. It's telling me it's got zero songs, zero watch folders, zero albums, and zero artists. These are going to be populated where I, when I tell it where my music is. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell it where my music is. So the eagle-eyed among you will probably have noticed the clock and the date have changed. And that's because I've been out drinking very heavily with my bandmates and singing songs and generally being raucous wow. and horrible. Uh, and I now have a horrible hangover. So I'm going to try to do this with as much enthusiasm and excitement as I started with. But you'll forgive me if I trail off and become pathetic. Uh, okay, so what we need to do is go to watch folders uh, and go to add folder and then you just pick the location of your music and it will add the music in. So I can now choose that. There we go. And there's all of my music and there's tons of it. So I'm going to tell it to add uh, the very top level and I imagine it's going to put it into my list of artists and songs and albums and it's going to do all that good stuff. It's going to scan it. You see it says queued here and it's now indexing 27 of 6004 songs. Awesome. Um, so you've got some other stuff here. You've got iTunes library. I've not got an iTunes library, but you've got some instructions there as to how you could import your iTunes library. So that's really cool if you happen to be an Apple person. Lots of errors coming up. I'm not sure what that is. It's uh, Okay, these are like radio shows and stuff. It'll be things that it can't find on its database, so it doesn't know what they are, and therefore can't give it names. But that's fine. I don't want any of my Ricky Gervais podcasts anyway. So it's still indexing away. That's done quite a lot already. I imagine if I open up songs now. Yep, you can see I've got some stuff in there already. Uh, 44 pages of it, in fact, already, and it's still scanning. So theoretically, I should be able to put the Alexa skill onto uh, Alexa and then ask Alexa to play Lose Control by Ash, for example, because it will recognize now the name uh, and it knows the location of the file and therefore can stream it to the Echo. This program is actually utterly ingenious, I have to say. This is brilliant. Artists, yep, as you'd expect, all the artists you've got there. Um, artwork as well, so it's downloading artwork. So it works in a very similar way to uh, Cody, if you've got Cody. So it's working its way through the albums and the songs and the artists, and it's gathering artwork from a database somewhere. 
Same thing for albums. Uh, I can see Blink-182's Enema of the State there with 12 songs in it. And if I open it up, it shows me the songs that are selectable. Uh, we're just going to go through settings, see if there's anything interesting in here. Echo devices do not natively support FLAC, WMA, WAV, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, support of these file formats requires transcoding. Okay, cool. Uh, so this software is also going to transcode stuff for you on the fly so that uh, your Echo Dots will be able to play files it's not supposed to be able to play. Uh, also utterly ingenious. Uh, it's telling me I need to install FFmpeg on your computer. I know what that is, I've seen it before, it's not dangerous, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to do it, in fact, let's install it. I just have to go to this link, open link a new tab. I need the 64-bit architecture, download build. Okay, I need to put this in a particular location, apparently, I've just read, so I'm going to go to show in folder, so I can see the zip file. And if we go back to our instructions, we're being told we need to create a folder under C program files my media for Alexa called FFmpeg. So I'm going to go to File Explorer, SPC, C drive, program files, my media for Alexa, and we need a folder called FFmpeg. Apparently, all we do is we take our zipped folder and we just drag all that stuff into our FFmpeg folder that we've created. Uh, provide administrator permission. And the instructions are actually saying to take these files, take them out of here, put them into the FFmpeg folder directly. And then we can just kill that folder. Delete. Cool, that should be enough for it to now be able to access the FFmpeg uh, stuff from the My Media Library, so all we've got to do now is enable it. Stop telling me that! <laughs> Nobody cares, I know. Uh, we can just tick that box now. Yes, that's the correct file folder area, that's where we've put it, that exists, so set. Okay. Cool. Looks like if you've got an Echo Show, you're going to get the album artwork as well on the screen, which is also excellent. This is brilliant, absolutely well done. Round of applause. Round of applause, my media. This is proper good stuff. If you're just looking to play your music, I think we're about done. Uh, let's just go see our watch folders and see if it's completed. It's about halfway there. So it actually categorizes everything really quickly. It's doing that across my network as well. It's not even on this machine. It's doing it from the computer downstairs. Might be even quicker for you if it's just pulling down artwork and albums and stuff for stuff that is directly on your machine. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's actually to do with the speed of your internet connection. Being as that's where all the artwork is coming from. Right then, let's install the Alexa skill and get cracking. So I'm sure you all know how to install an Alexa skill, but I know some douchebag is going to be like, Eh, yeah, it's not a whole video. You didn't tell us how to install the Alexa skill. Well, I'll show you how to install the Alexa skill. You go to Skills from the menu at the top. You wait for about a million years for Alexa to load, and then you go to here and type in My Media. Like, you can spell, like I can't. My Media, uh, it's going to be that guy. Enable. And it's going to need to link to your My Media account so that you can get everything up and running. So it's actually linking my Amazon account, correction. Uh, so if I link to my Amazon account, My Media has been successfully linked. Piece of pie. <laughs> Almost swore, didn't quite swear. Alexa, ask My Media to play songs by Blink182. Playing music by Blink182. <laughs> Far too easy. Far too flipping easy. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And pretty much all my funding comes from you guys because YouTube doesn't pay very well. Uh, so if you want to help support my channel, there are links in the description to do that too, whichever side they're on. I'll see you next time. Five dollars a year is Brazil de Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> This is a skill, a skill, a skill. YouTube are super cheap people. <laughs> Please give it a, th what, what am I doing? That's not a thumbs up.